What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'll be showing you guys on how to successfully connect your Xbox One controller to the PC using micro USB cable. And now this is a demonstration on Windows 10 only. I've already done a video similar to this for Windows 8, Windows 7.1 uh, sorry, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 7. So if you are using that platform, then refer to the other video, which will be in the description down below. Uh, but for Windows 10, I'll be demonstrating here in this video on how to successfully connect it using the micro USB cable. Um, now, before I go ahead and you know do the video itself, uh, showing you on how to connect it, this is not going to be uh, you know a simple video where I simply plug in the cable. I'm going to run over some of the features. Uh, you know, show you the drivers, etc. You know, um, and also we're going to check the types of cable that we will be also using uh, to connect the controller, of course. Um, because in the previous video that I made, which was related to Windows 7, 8, and 8.1, uh, people were complaining that it was just a you know straightforward video where we just plug the controller in and you know just demonstrated a game. And that was it. I didn't actually show any sort of drivers or anything as that. So we're going to clarify that in here. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not actually my fault. If it, you know, if it didn't work for you, um, you know, there are a number of different constraints. One of them, you know, could, could be the type of cable you're using, which I'll run over in a second. Um, you know, others could be your drivers, your windows, the USB ports. Um, on the piece itself, um, if, if, if your drivers are up to date, if the Windows itself is up to date, if it's a legit Windows, you are receiving you know updates from Microsoft, um, or there could be another uh, peripheral that might be actually stopping the controller uh, driver uh, you know from successfully installing, which you might have to alter manually. And I'll try to run over that if if if, if time would allow, but I'm trying to keep the the video uh, limited to. Uh, connecting this controller using the micro USB cable on Windows 10. So first up we have this controller right here It's the uh, Microsoft Xbox one controller and the reason we're demonstrating this is because it's it's a uh, it's revision one controller So it doesn't actually come with Bluetooth functionality and strictly the only way to connect this is either buying a, You know wireless dongle that you can put into your PC. I've already done a video on that too if you want to see that or, I mean, you can just use one of the uh, two cables. Now, the reason why we have two cables here is, um, is I'm just going to run over the types of cable these are. Uh, they're both micro USB data and charge cables, uh, meaning that, you know, it, it can also charge uh, your device, uh, whether you have a, you know, uh, battery pack for the controller. Uh, and the data is what, what it's using to connect to the PC, you know, with validating the drivers, etc. You know, things as like that. So they're both, you know, the exact same cables. Uh, now, this is a cable that came with my Samsung Android Galaxy handset. And this is a cable that I bought specifically for uh, Xbox One, which is uh, just right there. Um, so it, I bought that specifically for the Xbox One, uh, for the Xbox One um uh, console and it is to charge the um, the, the battery pack uh, for the controller itself and also to deliver a connection to the xbox now there's two types of cables that you need to be very careful uh, about i mean you might have the wrong cable which might not actually work and then you're going to think the video actually didn't help um just a whole lot of bs which it's not so i'm going to run over uh, the functionality that you know the uh, within the cables which will limit that uh, now the cables will look exactly the same. So if, if you look at the cables, they'll look exactly the same to you. You, you wouldn't be able to tell otherwise testing. Um, now the only thing that is actually missing the cable internally, it's uh, two types of uh, data lines. So they're called D plus and D minus. So D positive, D negative, which is not actually implemented within uh, that particular USB cable, uh, meaning that it will charge the device. I mean. Possibly, if you don't have a battery in here, which I don't, a uh, battery pack or anything as that, it won't actually charge it, but it will power on the controller. So there will be power in the controller itself. However, it won't actually function. So, I mean, if you, in other words, if you're using this on, on your Windows, whether that's Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, um, it's, it's going to look like it's connected, but there is, there is actually no driver that's you know, establishing a connection between the controller itself and the PC itself. So 
you won't actually be getting any type of connection to the controller and therefore the game is not going to work and then it's going to look like that you know it was my fault when it's not so we just need to make sure that we're all on the same page right here when i'm uh when i'm going to run through and the types of cables that i'm using so uh one way to test that is you know of course uh plug it in uh into your controller and and see if the connection is actually going from the controller to the pc and vice versa if it's not then you know you got the wrong cable uh, but it could not be just that the case. I mean, there are a number of other constraints, as I mentioned. So one of them could be, you know, your drivers might be out, out of date, your windows might be out of date. Uh, you might have some sort of antivirus software that might be limiting that. So you have to keep an eye on a number of different issues that you might need to tackle in order uh, to, you know, um, to get the controller connected. It's possible that the, the cable might also be faulty. If it's an old cable, it was damaged, whatever. So... Uh, with further ado, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate this. Now on connecting this controller to the PC, right there uh, is the PC. And we will be plugging this into a USB 3.0 um, port at the front of the, uh, the case itself. So it's not, it's not on the motherboard, it's actually on the front uh, of the case itself, but that is connected to the motherboard internally. So um, it should establish that connection. We're going to go ahead and use this cable, uh, seeing that the PC is actually one mile out. We would need this in order to connect it successfully. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to come right back. All right, so we now have uh, the controller plugged in into the PC. As you can see, the cable right here, it's uh, plugged into the port right there and over at the PC itself uh, in the front panel, as I mentioned. So right in there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the PC screen and where I'm going to show you on within the device manager if it, if it focuses that is okay there we go so you can now see within the uh, device manager that it has picked up the controller um, I mean it has picked up the uh, the driver for it but it's currently uh, unknown USB device. So you might get an error such as that. Now the reason for this one being is it's a loose connection on on um, it's a loose connection on um, on the cable to to the controller itself. So the controller itself is actually suffering from a, you know solid connection coming over from the PC due to um, the issue within the uh, the cable itself. The uh, cable is a little bit faulty, so. What we're going to do is I'm going to play around with the cable until I get a connection established and you should see that you know it should disappear completely. There we go. So now the controller has also powered on but not just that we're looking at um, the driver also successfully installed uh, on the Windows. Now that was due to this cable right here. It's a little bit tricky so you got to be careful with it. Uh, you have to move it around, you have to wiggle it around till it you know, goes in place. So you might also have a cable such as that, and that's probably the issue why the driver isn't able to install it. So it's messing around with the, the D plus, the D negative lines, and it's not able to send data correctly. So you need to play around with that, or alternatively buy a cable that actually works. Uh, a new cable never been used, and plug that into the controller and test it then. So we're gonna go ahead, back to the TV screen, and no issues whatsoever now. And we're here on on the driver page, and we're within the universal serial bus controllers. We're not able to see anything that's coming across, you know, with an exclamation mark or anything is that. But what we can actually see here, I might have to zoom in a little bit more, so it's clear. Uh, there we go. Let it focus. Focus. There. Okay, so we got Xbox uh, peripherals, and within this, if you expand it, you got the uh, Xbox controller. So that's how you're able to tell you are connected. There is the driver version, and you can see it's it's not a latest driver, but it does actually work. That's that's when it was previously, you know, assigned to the PC itself. But what you need to make sure is that you want to make sure your Windows is actually up to date. So that might be another issue, whereas your PC is not up to date and your drivers, you don't have the, the essential service packs, Windows service packs, you don't have the drivers, and, and therefore you're not able to you know, um, get the controller connected. But if you're on Windows 10 with latest updates, um, with a working cable, uh, working micro USB cable, 
uh, that is a data and a power um, cable, it should fire up the controller and you should be able to game on it. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, a game right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, and just quickly pick up uh, Gears of War if it, if it comes up. Where are we? There, Gears of War 4. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the game itself. Um, with, with, with the controller, of course. So we just want to make sure that the controller itself, which is still plugged in and powered on, as we can see here, uh, we're going to go ahead and see if it, it actually plays a the game. There we go, there we have Gears of War. Alright, so the game is now launched successfully and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate if the controller with a wired connectivity to Windows 10 playing, you know, a Microsoft game, see if it works. Press A, it does work, press it again, we're in the game. And now we're able to move up and down, right there. Go to Horde, Standard, and go Normal, and we'll be back when the game launches. The game's finally about to launch. We're just gonna demonstrate moving the character around. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till the game actually launches. There we go. Let's see the character moving around. You don't have to use all the functionalities of the controller itself. Even to the point where there's vibration on the controller. And we will stop the video right there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been it, it's been helpful, uh, and that you're able to successfully connect your Xbox One controller to Windows 10 using the micro USB cable. Um, if it did help, please make sure to subscribe, uh, share the video if possible. Any issues, uh, try to leave a comment, and I'll do my best to get back to everybody if possible. Uh, one last thing I forgot to mention was actually. Um, the USB ports. What you need to make sure is also different USB ports on your PC. You might have an old port, a non-functioning port, a uh, port that might be damaged uh, and therefore the, you can't actually get the connectivity out of it. So uh, you want to also make sure you try all the ports on your PC or laptop. Uh, try different cables, new cables. Remember data and power cables you want to use with the controller. Up-to-date drivers, uh, the the cable, you know, uh, connected to the controller properly, no disconnection. Um, your Windows is up to date, you got the latest service packs. Uh, yeah, just general uh, computer upgrades, you know, and updates on Windows itself. That should help leave it, uh, eliminate the problems that you might get with the controller. Um, but if it did help, uh, as I mentioned previously, you know, make sure to subscribe to the video, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get back to everybody. Until next time, peace out.